Disney, are you not done losing fans, subscribers, money? Are you not tired of your stock dropping? What in the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Bambi does not need to be modernized, as you call it. Because we all know what modernized means for you. <laughs> modernized doesn't just mean updating it. Hey, uh, you know, just new music, uh, different aesthetics, and, you know, uh, oh, maybe the hunter has a car from... 2020, you know, when he pulls up in his truck for F-150 or something. No, 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 we know what you mean. I hope that this is not true. I hope this is just rumor. But it's Disney. Oh, God. But it's Disney. So let me see. Is Bambi now going to be a girl? And her father was shot. And she ceased to be the strong leader that her father was of the, of the dear family. And, or is Bambi still going to be a boy? But he's going to be bisexual. And Thumper's going to be gay. And he's going to have a love triangle between Fawn and Thumper going on. They give a whole new name, meaning the Thumper, don't it? So, if we got that, it's checking a few boxes there. But Fawn ends up saving everybody at the end and she becomes the leader it's all about fun but it's named Bambi there we go that sounds more like what Disney would do but God I hope that they don't just tell the story the way you originally told it in the cartoon just make it Live action, and you will have a hit. That's it. That rhymes on the play of the game. Bars. I cannot tell you. I have fans around the world. I cannot tell you how many times I get comments and emails from LGBTQ fans, from female fans, from male fans that say, "Leave it alone. We're tired of being." Pander to gay baiting, trying to get us in there just because we're female. We know what you're doing. It's like in the old, older days, like in kind of like the 80s and 90s where they would put black people in certain parts. And, you know, black people were in there, you know, not, not another teen movie made fun of it. He's like, I'm just here to say, damn, shit. And that is whack. Yeah, it was like, like why is he... Like, they got him in here chucking and jiving. They just put a black dude in here to get us to come see the movie. Like, we were going to come see the movie anyway. But the black dude's in there bucking his eyes. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? So, like, I can't believe after all these years, these companies still do stupid stuff like this. So, it says here, though. That their attempt to modernize Bambi has sparked outrage. Disney's plans to give Bambi a modern twist, possibly downplaying the tragic death of her mom. Her mom? Bambi's a boy. Has sparked backlash. Oh. I see. They want to make Bambi a girl. Has sparked backlash against the company's woke crusade to meddle with its classic films. 
Writer Lindsay Anderson Beer recently told Collider that she was working on a script to update the animated 1942 into a live action remake for a more modern audience. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that to be able to bring it to life for kids these days in a way that maybe they relate to a little bit more would be of service to the original, she said. While light on details, she would modernize Bambi to make it more relatable to kids today. And she did say that she is looking at how the film dealt with the death of Bambi's mother. Okay, maybe that was a typo. Not to spoil the plot, but there's a treatment of the mom dying that I think some kids, some parents these days are more sensitive about than they were in the past. And I think that's one of the reasons that they haven't shown it to their children. She said, well, yeah, that's, I mean, that bothered me. I remember um, my mom telling me a story about how she picked me up from kindergarten and the teacher had a talk with her because wasn't a bad thing, but it was kind of like, God, like he actually thought of that type of thing. She's reading the story of Bambi to us. And when the mother got shot, I asked the teacher in front of all the kids, of course, I said, did he eat her? You know, because that's what hunters do, right? So she was like, no, he didn't eat her. But, you know, she sat down and thought, that's what hunters do, you know? I mean, she wasn't a buck. He didn't, you know, just eat eat the buck and, you know, maybe mount the horns or nothing. I mean, it was, I mean he didn't just shoot her for nothing, you know. So, um, Disney has come under fire for his recent updates to animated classics, which include the black actress Halle Bailey to play Ariel in live action, The Little Mermaid, The House of Mouse, upcoming Snow White. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just started making me think of a Rachel Zegler. Evidently so. She's not going to be saved by the prince. Uh, with magical creatures. Of all sizes and genders. <laughs> Anderson Beers plans to update Bambi. Set off another deluge of criticism. A modernized Bambi? Pretty sure the story would still work today. Just as it is. One user wrote on X. Formerly Twitter. Another question, I wonder what this means, modernized retelling. They're going to change Bambi to be a moose instead? <laughs> exactly. What do you modernize? Something that took place in the middle of a forest. It's exactly. Uh, there was nothing about Bambi's original story that screamed, this was made in the 1940s. Disney has already put advisories on older shows and movies on its streaming service, Warning of potentially offensive content and even putting age limits on the classics such as Dumbo, Peter Pan, and the Aristocats. Didn't they um, stop showing um, Song of the South? That was one of the ones that, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, had, had some... I don't remember. I saw it when I was a kid. I remember, like, liking it as a kid, but I just don't remember it. You know, there was a man walking around with colorful animation flying around and his friends you know was, that was cool to me as a kid like the man was interacting with the cartoons but I, I don't remember the movie at all really but I heard it had some racial you know uh, you know anyway so uh, a recent poll from Redfield and Wilton strategies found that the majority of respondents preferred if Disney created new stories rather than plunder its archive of uh, to, of remakes, yeah, dragging out classics from the graves and putting on shiny new clothes to squeeze out more money of them is disrespectful. You know, here's the thing: I'm not even like that. I don't think it's disrespectful to make live remakes of your animated classics. That doesn't bother me. It's the fact that you're plundering them, you're destroying them. You don't have to change them fundamentally. You do not have to change them fundamentally. So um, don't change anything about it. Just make it live action. And I think that you are going to do fine.
post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed what I had to say, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share.